Hey YouTube, Dread Joker here, just uh, letting you know that I am not dead. Uh, I, I have actually been working night and day for the last week or so on a project I've called Project Junkyard. That will be a video in the future once I get it all completed because it is way too complicated to make a video of. I will run out of hard drive space. So instead, I was out around town today and I found this for, uh, well... Pretty cheap, actually. I found this at the 99 Zen Only store. So this is a, uh, I don't know how to say it, so I'm just going to call it a Sprockets, or maybe it's Sprue Kits. I don't know. But what this is, is it's a model kit. It's, uh, it was designed in Japan, and scarier, made in Japan, which is not showing up very well on screen, because this thing does not want to focus today. Thank you very much. But yeah, I'm just going to do this. Uh, this is uh, completely brand new tab is just right here. Hasn't been opened or anything. So without further ado, let's uh, get into assembly. Let's just start with uh, opening up and putting that off the side. And of course the tab never works all the way, so just come and finish it off with your hand. Let's uh, reach inside and see what we got to work with. Oh, these things are not very big, are they? Okay, no, it's not, that's not too bad, and okay, the instructions are printed on the inside of the box, so I got to come back and open her up. Now, I actually forgot to do this, so I will be back in one second. I have to go grab a, uh, a tool, because I'm not good at removing stuff from uh, these screw cover, these screw hole panel things. Okay, I'm back. Just had to go get my little trusty knife. It's just a little guy. So yeah, let's, uh... First, let's finish opening this, because I need to know what tab goes in uh, what hole. So I'm pretty sure I could figure it out by myself, and... Wow. It's actually pretty detailed for what it is. And at the store, they had... Achilles, Hunter, and uh, generic bad guy Golem. I'm just going to call him that until I remember what the name is on the box. They did not, as far as I know, have this guy. If they did, I would have uh, picked up Achilles and him. But I do have Hunter, too. So let's get in and uh, see how bad this thing is. Because, honestly, it doesn't look that bad from initial reviews. So Let's get into it. Let's set the instructions up back there so I can see them and you can follow along. Let's see, step one for any model kit, obviously. Oh, man. That... Bag is really on there, so keep my tool open there. Just... Oh, my God. What the hell did they make this plastic out of? Oh no, stickers, my worst nightmare, no! Ah, oh, hello Sharpie. No duh, keep pieces on sprue until needed. This isn't my first experience with a model kit and I probably won't be my last either. Okay, so we got... Oh, this one's already started itself. That's good. Uh, Achilles shield, okay. Okay, and, oh wow, there's his face. Man, that is small. Oh, I'm so glad I did not pay full price for these things when they came out at Toys R Us a few years ago. Okay, so we got that. Okay, let's start with uh, head assembly. Okay, so just, uh... Wow, that is clean, actually. Just need to deburr it. One more pass should deburr it. Yep, that's actually good plastic too. Most things I've uh, deburred in the past have never worked like this. So, okay, that's a positive. Um, another positive. Wow, these things really just pop right off. Okay, that's a uh, that's another huge uh, plus for them. Uh, stickers is a negative, but I mean, if it doesn't take much force to pop out of the trays. As I just did. It's a big, 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 big step up. Okay, so... 
it says to apply the sticker beforehand, but something tells me I can just pop these things off when I'm done. Let's see, line it up, and let's actually uh, get the camera in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. Just uh, see if this thing will focus. No, it won't. Okay. But just line it all up, and it'll just slide together, and yeah, it's actually pretty good. Okay, so it's easy enough. I can see the appeal in these things. Then I'm going to want to pop the yeah, no way to say this. I'm just going to want to pop his crotch off. Then these are obviously his shins. Uh, torso. Going to need that one right away. Let's just... Come on. Come on. Be friendly. Okay, there we go. That'll make getting it off a lot easier. Just twist and... Wow. Okay, I'm already thoroughly impressed with these things, and I do I never say that about model kits because I have had terrible experience with these things in the past. Let's just zoom. No, oh, other way. Other way. Sorry, still still trying to figure out the zoom function on this camera because I am having to work it entirely by hand. Just uh, come back here and <sighs> yeah, uh, okay. This is. I'm just using this because I don't have like any kind of clippers or shears or anything, so in case I accidentally uh, stick myself, don't freak out, just laugh at the fail. But I am very, very cautious when using a knife because I have stabbed myself in the past and it was not fun. So okay, that's the front piece and you are the shoulder, okay, line you up this way, you... Go into this socket here, I think. Okay, so these things, I can see the appeal, but I can also see them not working 100% as intended. Okay, you're missing a ball joint, so where would you be? Only two trays of screws, and I <sighs> If they seriously just shorted me a part already out of the box, this is going to be a... A very fast review. You? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Well, I think I found the part. Oh, no. Pfft. Silly me. It's attached to the chest. Uh, you may laugh at that fail. You may laugh. You may laugh. So let's just uh, tab them all together. Oh, already liking the uh, the joints aren't too tight. They're not too loose. It's actually about perfect. So yeah, already a, a thumbs up. So then let's uh, get his crotch connected here. Yeah, still no way to say that right. Okay, so let's see the legs, the top panel. Okay, go like this. Top panel connects to, let's see, which one of you is the, which is the ass and which is the front? Okay, that, that decides it. Front panel here, just get that out of the way for now. Just uh, come back and assemble the rear legs. <laughs> rear legs. The thing only has two, yeah. Uh, nice typo, guys. Thank you. Then assemble the crotch. And yeah, just for the, uh, the record, these things are not accurate to the picture at all because this is going to be very, very white. So, this thing is, but again, it's a pay what you, uh, get what you pay for thing, and, oh wow, these things actually have really good articulation too. Guess I'm going to have to get some more. Now, they do make um, multiple versions of these. This is the entry level, so what this means is that it gets harder from here. Now, they do have one that is absolutely amazing. But I doubt I will ever get my hands on it because I do not feel comfortable uh, putting like $50, $60 into a single model when I can take the same money and turn it into a bunch of content or a bunch of hours of entertainment or a few thousand runs to Goodwill. 
which is where I got most of the parts for Project Junkyard, which is currently sitting, waiting for me to get back to work on it. Okay, don't need that, throw that aside. Okay, arms left, connect right, oh wow, 90 degree elbow. No, wait, let me just get in here. Slightly under, that's about 70, 85 degrees. So, okay, still good, still good. And leg, connect one, connect two, Good, now let's connect the feet. And I apologize if the camera shots aren't very good. I'm actually doing this, uh, I'm not behind my camera this time, so I can't really see what I'm doing. So let's just get him stood up here and, okay, I'm gonna admit this is worth two bucks because I remember going to Hot Topic the other day and I found a, 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 a uh, this is where my tongue stops working a Frieza figure from Dragon Ball, I think it was uh, Resurrection F, it was the, the new movie. It was about this size, fully posable, and $20. That is a ripoff right there. So Achilles, let's uh, just pop your cape off here. Just pop, pop, pop. Okay, that's what this part's for, and I'm gonna need my tool to get this one out because it is so small. I say I need my tool, and then I don't need my tool. <laughs> so that is a sign of good craftsmanship. I will give Japan huge credit. And, oh, wow, even on the trays, it does say made in Japan. That is that is amazing, because, you know, most toys nowadays, you think, oh, it's made of plastic. It's coming from China. Which, let's face it, almost everything is made in China these days. So let me just get resituated here so I can get... Back to assembly, let's just uh, come and plug his head piece together here for his uh, nice Roman pompadour thing. I don't know what to call this. Uh, oh, his mane. Makes him look like a horse. <laughs> just put the peg in the cape and let's peg the cape in. Wow. Okay, um, I know it's missing all the stickers because I am i haven't applied them yet, but this already gets a, a big thumbs up. Okay, the cape doesn't stay on for crap, but I can easily fix that with super glue, so. Which, coincidentally, I just bought because Project Junkyard demands enough, enough glue to hold together an army. Okay, so let me just get back up closer here and give him his beautiful little lance here. Okay, so let's make this just tab connect in. Okay, that's good. And shield is going to have to be held in the arm. No, wait, let's do it backwards. Let's put the shield on the back of the arm so that way he can actually uh, guard like a legitimate shield should work. That's awesome for the price. I did not realize. Now, they make Ninja Turtle ones of these, too, but I just, I grabbed this because I liked uh, LBX a little more, even though I never finished it. But, I mean, eh, it's a robot. It's a robot that moves, and it wasn't $10. Yay! So, let's see if I can uh, apply this sticker. Let me just uh, come here and give me your face. Oh, crap. Come on. Come on. Be a friend. Be a doll. Be a deer. Come on. One side. Night time. Day time. Okay, so adhesive, uh, not the best. But I can easily fix this with super glue, so. And again, it's also probably because I'm putting this on after it told me to put it on, but. 
if this is any indication of how tight this is going to get later on, or should I say how loose because it's already coming off. Dude, seriously, I am really trying to compliment you here. You've got amazing articulation for what your size is. And for your price, th the fact that you even hold together is good. So yeah, there's his face. And the camera will not focus, so let me try zooming in again. No wonder this thing was so cheap. Well, technically this is my old, or one of our old phones I'm using, but still. Work with what you got. But this is cool. I like these. If you ever find some of these at a dollar store or something like that, this is worth some time. I mean, I just put this thing together in like 15, 16 minutes now, and this is already good. This was worth the money right here, because this is fun. It kept me busy for 15 minutes, which is more than I can say about some of my other toys, because some of the things I order, I'm like, okay, it's a thing. This is what it does, and I'm bored. So yeah, that's been the uh, review for... Uh, the LBX Achilles Sprockets. So yeah. I recommend these. And the bigger ones, I imagine can only be better. So yeah. Joker approves. Two thumbs up. That's awesome. More content is coming soon. And after the summer, with any luck, I will be bringing in much better content because a friend is sending me a little surprise and by little I mean it's going to change my freaking life. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic week.